how to properly drink from and use a wine glass. Before we dive into today's hot topic, I do want to share that last week I published a video here on YouTube how to properly use a dinner napkin. If you hit the show more tab below the video box, it will expand. You will see that napkin video there as well as other table manner and dining etiquette videos. I also have videos down below that have to do with being a savvy party host and a very, very proper party guest. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach and owner of Hensel Coaching and Consulting. I help people just like you improve on your etiquette and people skills so you are better received both personally and professionally. If you would like to learn more about me, you can check out my personal brand website as well as my coaching and consulting website. Other exciting news to share is I can't wait to show you the Ana Luisa pieces that I picked up. I am so happy to be working with them again for the month of December. If you are anything like me, you've probably wrapped up most of your Christmas shopping, but you may have a few straggler gifts, and that is why I'm excited to share the Ana Luisa jewelry that I picked up as gifts. They are currently offering 25% off your purchase. Now, you'll want to jump on this relatively quick, by the end of the week because you need to have your order in by December 10th in order to have your pieces delivered in time for Christmas. Since we are in the spirit of giving today, I have two pieces of jewelry to share with you. One I actually have, and then I actually bought it for a gift as well, because someone that I know very well kept commenting on my earrings. The first pair of earrings you may have seen before in one of the other videos I did with Anna Luisa. I loved the scarlet double hoop earrings so much for myself that I decided to grab this pair to give to a daughter that I know will love them so much because she has commented on these. I love this huggy style set of earrings in this 14 karat gold finish. They're lightweight and so easy to wear all day long. The next pair of earrings is the low small hoop earrings. I love hoops. <laughs> Let me just share that. These simple and elegant hoops will be a great everyday piece for another one of my daughters who I know loves her hoops. They're easy to wear and such a classic. They'll go great with everything. The low small hoop earrings are made of recycled 14 karat gold and have a high shine 14 karat gold finish. If the two earrings that I shared with you today don't speak to you for one of your loved ones, no worries. Check out the whole entire Ana Luisa site. Guaranteed you will find the piece of jewelry that will be perfect for your loved one. You can click on the link in the description box below this video and that will take you right to the site where you can take advantage of 25% off your purchase. All right, are you ready to go over how to hold a wine glass and why? We hold the wine glass where we do. We're going to start out with the anatomy of a wine glass. And I think this is important because it will help you to understand why you hold the glass where you do. For our demonstration, I'm going to use a white wine glass, but the anatomy is the same for all wine glasses that have a stem. There's four parts to the wine glass. We have the rim, the bowl, the stem, and the base. Let's talk about the purpose of each. We're going to start from the bottom of the wine glass and work our way up. The bottom is the base. It keeps the glass upright. Next, we have the stem, which keeps the warmth of the hand away from the bowl. Very important. The bowl is the actual part of the glass that contains the wine. The rim, which is the upper part of the glass, is what touches the lip. The rim of a wine glass is very delicate. That is why it's very important when clinking glasses with a companion, you never clink with the rim. You always clink the wine glasses together by the bowl. Now, there are variations of wine glasses, but typically they're 
pretty close. They just could be shaped a little different. Just remember that a red wine glass typically is a little bit wider in the bowl and shorter. A white wine glass is going to be slightly narrower in the bowl and more taller. And then we have our sparkling wine or our champagne glass, and that is typically going to be longer and narrower. Every once in a while, you will see a wine glass like this white wine glass here. I am not a fan of this style of wine glass. The reason for that is, if you recall, the purpose of the stem is so we don't alter the temperature of the wine. With this particular type of glass, because there's no stem, you do have the risk of altering the temperature of your wine, which is exactly why you want to hold your wine glass by the stem versus the bowl. You will hear many different ways to hold your wine glass by the stem. I really don't get too caught up in exactly how you hold it. I do believe that if you hold it towards the base at the bottom, I think it looks more elegant and you look more like a seasoned wine drinker. But it's all about feeling confident holding your glass. You'd much rather hold it in a less attractive way and know that you're not going to have a spill. I have a couple different ways that I hold my wine glass. Typically it is always at the bottom of the stem a little bit onto the base. That's what I prefer. You will also see that my pinky is over here kind of supporting it. If I am walking around or standing, let's say I'm at a cocktail party and I'm not seated, I almost always will put my pinky over on the base to help support it. If you're moving around and talking, that will prevent you from feeling a little wobbly with your wine glass, so I feel more secure. If I'm at a dinner table and I'm eating, a lot of times I will take my pinky and I will actually tuck it behind the glass and all you will see is my three fingers in the front and again I always hold at the bottom of the stem. Again some people will hold at the top and you still could push your pinky behind it. I'm not a fan of the pinky being out. I don't think that looks very attractive so I would steer clear of that but again it just looks a little bit nicer when you just lower your fingers to to the bottom and again hold that base with your pinky again you will hear a lot of different ways that's right or wrong you really do have to do what makes you feel confident and comfortable but definitely hold your wine glass by the stem. Now you will see sometimes someone who is a wine expert like a sommelier they will actually cup their wine like this we're just talking about basic wine drinking etiquette here I wouldn't worry about doing that and I wouldn't recommend it unless you are a seasoned wine drinker and you know your stuff like a sommelier would. They actually do that to alter the temperature of their wine because they know the exact proper temperature of all wines and believe it or not, it varies according to what red what whites and what sparkling. Most often, your white wines will be chilled. Your red wines will be served just slightly under room temperature, but there are some variations there, and a sommelier knows that. That's why you may see them cup their wine glass, but for the sake of today's purposes, no, no, let's just hold on to the stem. The only other thing that I really want to share with you today that is so important, and that is wherever you take your first sip of wine from is where you always want to place your lips the next time. Even if you don't have lipstick or lip gloss, and I definitely would not recommend wearing a gloss, it's better to wear a stain or a matte or long wearing lipstick with great staying power. When I am going to be dining and I'm going to drink wine, I wear a different lipstick than I would on a regular basis, like today when I have a creamy lipstick formula on. I always forgo the gloss. A lot of people wear lip balms, especially men. That too will leave a mark on your glass, so I don't care what glass you're drinking from, even if you are a water drinker, you should always put your lips in the same place on the glass or it really does look messy. The other thing too is if you touch your wine glass by the bowl, it will leave fingerprints. That is another reason why I am not a fan of this style of wine glass. Every once in a while, 
I will go to, let's say, a dinner party or a cocktail party, and they will serve these wine glasses. Well, of course, I'm not going to turn it down, but they do look pretty rough after a couple hours of people handling their wine glass. Well, there you have it. How to properly drink from and use a wine glass plus a few other things that you may not have known about wine glasses. Don't forget to check out my entire Christmas gift guide series. That video library will be linked in the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out that top link that will direct you to the Ana Luisa website, where again, you can take advantage of 25% off your purchase. Again, you need to hurry. Get that order in by the end of the week because December 10th is the deadline date to ensure that your gifts will arrive in time for gift giving on Christmas. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon right here on YouTube.